Hello, pissing peoples. Okay, so for this drawing, my goodness, I changed a lot. Um, I started off by blending her face out, and then I also added a, like a periwinkleish overlay onto her skin, to make the cut make the colors in her face more similar. And also to make her to take her face and draw it for more yellow colors and push it more towards blues and purples. That way you get that her skin looks pale, like ghostly pale, like vaguely dead pale. It also helps because it draws it um makes her skin tone similar to the water. Um so yeah, then I blended out the face. I one thing I do regret is on the cheek that's facing away from us. I blended it up and down when I really should have gone left and right. So that way I can keep the same direction I'm going with the other cheek. I'll fix that a bit later on, but the damage is done. I also wanted to, her eyes to look like... <laughs> if you zoom in, you'll notice that it almost looks like... Um, you know when somebody uses like too much mascara and it looks lumpy? like Almost like spider legs? I wanted to give her those lumpy lashes... And I wanted her, uh, the black holes of her eyes to not be entirely even, you know, that way it, it looks more, it looks a lot scooped out than anything else. Um, I also, one, one other thing is by having all of her hair be wet, I think it really helped open up her face because it's showing off more for her forehead, you know? Versus before, I think I didn't really know as much what to do with her forehead and bangs, so it looked like a solid block of hair. Also, because I had such dark shading around her eyes, it also looked goofy. Also, another thing is with this drawing, I was not using a reference versus my... When I originally did this drawing, I was sticking pretty close to reference. So I think by not using a reference for the end product, I was able to change and edit things that would look better in a drawing versus the reference, which has things that look better in a photo, you know? But I think that the reference was great just for having her face shape. Um, also, the reason I did this drawing in the first place was because my brother recommended, he said I should do backgrounds more, and I showed him the doll picture for my last drawing, and he's like, oh, we should draw her coming out of the water. And I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. But instead of doing her and just simply copy-pasting her, I end up taking... A uh, different character I did months and months and months ago, and then just entirely redoing that character. So now, oh, and then I added a some of her the reflection from her face into the water. I have some brown around her skin in the water just to show that she is going deeper into the water, so it's reflecting some of her skin. Um, I multiplied the dark blue in her hair several times, so that way I can actually get the color, and then just start entirely over with what I'm doing with that. For the hair, I end up adding these little swirls in the water, just because it looks aesthetic. Um, if I was less lazy, I would have done something with her ear, but I didn't. Um, so she just has a funky looking ear. I can just chalk it up to her being a monster or whatever. But anywho, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, love you guys. Goodbye.